In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit GraphQL queries within Postman. Here I have a GraphQL echo query loaded using my echo URL. You can see that my schema is loaded into my query explorer. I'm going to be playing around with a mutation query for creating a person. So let's go ahead and click on create person. And I'm going to be giving that person a name as well as that person in age. I can of course edit that query on the query explorer side on the left hand side. So let's give it a name and an age here. But I can also edit that on the query editor side and edit the details on the query editor side here as well. So when I send this query, I'm able to see the data that I have returned. To work a little bit more dynamically with this query, I can go ahead and add some variables. So let's say I was interested in adding a variable for name and age. I can use the GraphQL variable notation. So let's add a variable for name, uh, which is a string, and a variable for age, which is an int. I can add those two variables into my create person object. And then I can use the variables section at the bottom, which lets me add in variables dynamically to that particular query. So here, let me add a some Postman variables which I can use uh, as a collection variable, a global variable, or even an environment variable to change that information dynamically. So let's create some variables for both name using the curly braces notation in Postman, as well as a variable for age. Now I can go ahead and add these two variables dynamically by creating a collection variable. So let's create a variable called name and age. And let's create some values for that variable. And let's save that data. Now when I send that data, I can see that I'm able to create a person using variable notations, both in GraphQL and using the Postman notation for curly braces. I can go ahead and go one step further and I can create a script. So there are two ways I can create scripts. I can create a script before the query is sent, as well as a script for some data that I want to uh, test after I get my response. So if I wanted to send a script for before a query is sent, I can create a script using the snippets. Let's create a snippet for setting a collection variable before a data is sent. So for example, if I wanted to change the name for that particular variable, I can cr create that name change here. And then I can always test what my data looks like afterwards. Let's, for example, test if that data is returned successfully. And we can also test if the response time is below 200 milliseconds. When I go ahead and send this data, I can see that my data has now been changed dynamically using the before query script. And I can see that my test results are now reflected as well. So my query ran successfully and my response time is below 200 milliseconds. I hope this gives you a better idea of how to work with queries more dynamically and how to edit them using the query editor in Postman.